Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany with the Danleys, and many of you have been asking if we have new construction in our area, and today we're touring the Meadows at Antelope Park, one of the new construction area subdivisions in the area in Prescott Valley. We're going to check out three homes ranging from 485 to 612, 1400 square feet to 2400 square feet, so stick around. All right, everybody, we're headed north of Highway 89A in Prescott Valley to Antelope Park by Woodside Homes. It's a brand new community under construction and uh, homes range from uh, 1,400 square feet starting from 485,000. This first model we're walking through is the Dahlia plan. It is a two bed, two bath and um, offer some pretty unique things. You can get some structural options, which we'll show you in this plan. Um, here is the first uh, secondary bedroom that is along the roadside. Good natural light, nine foot ceilings, eight foot interior doors. And then we're headed into the main living space. It's a great room, uh, floor plan, open concept kitchen, dining and living area. Through that door would be the your garage, and then it's got a nice key drop spot. Cool thing about what Woodside is doing is allowing the buyers to really customize these houses. Um, it's kind of a theme going on through uh, many of the builders here. You can do everything from customizing your cabinetry, flooring, to um, real intense structural options um, and customize. You can take your 1,400 square feet, and bump out a wall, extend a patio. Um, so it's it's really unique and uh, letting the buyers be part of the um, home building process and get exactly what you're uh, wanting. We're stepping into the uh, primary suite here. This bay window, that's one of the structural options you can add. Uh, nice natural light up above uh, the bed wall. Great bathroom, huge shower, which is which is kind of a cool feature. Uh, double sinks. This is kind of a unique thing that they did. Uh, they placed the laundry within the master uh, closet. Pretty good size walk-in closet. And then another feature that we thought was really, uh, really cool in this plan, this has the optional exercise room, which we'll walk into now. So you've got some space and some natural light for the Peloton bike or some small exercise equipment. Headed outside. Good lot sizes. Um, this is viewing towards Mingus Mountain. Their models, of course, are always decked out, showing you different various uh, landscape options. This one, as you step up, you can see the mountains in the foothills in the background and the homes under construction in the distance. They've got about 25 lots remaining as of the recording of this video. So over the next year or so, they will approach build out and you'll see some resale opportunities. All right, model number two is the Lantana. This is just under 1,700 square foot, two bed, two and a half bath. This is the third home in their lineup. You'll notice most home builders do have uh, numerous homes that they offer, but not only, uh, they don't typically model all of them. So in this case, Woodside's offering six homes, and they model three. Uh, this Lantana plan, this uh, front bedroom, could be used as a secondary suite, um, home office, guest area. You'll see there is a door that separates uh, the bath and the bedroom from the rest of the house. Um, in addition, there is a half bath for a powder room. And you can also configure this home with um, 
the huge luxury master uh, bathroom, which you'll see modeled in this plan. There's options for third car tandem garage. There's options for a fourth car garage. I mean, really, there's there's tons of structural options, which is kind of unique um, for a builder to offer that many structural options. I'm sure it's not easy to facilitate all of that, but they do give you the option uh, depending on your needs. This house has a really good size uh, laundry area, which you'll see here for being just a two bedroom house. Um, your full size washer dryer side by side, lots of cabinetry options, uh, upper and lower. And then headed back through the kitchen, we'll go into the great room area. Great rooms on the back side of the house, um, viewing out towards the back patio. And then you'll see that uh, powder room right there. I don't know, I'm kind of digging that tile. I don't know what you guys think. So let us know in the comments. Here is the uh, primary suite. Again, this one has got the uh, luxury bathroom, which you'll see. It's got a separate uh, tub shower. So we'll make our way into that large walk-in closet. You'll see how, how big it is. And again, this was an option that they offered, um, kind of a luxury suite. You'll see you've got two dedicated um, sink areas, a freestanding floating tub, good size walk-in shower, and entrances on both sides of the shower into the closet, which is kind of a nice feature. And then they offered an option for a door to access the laundry room directly from the uh, primary bathroom. So again, convenience, um, nice features that they've offered in this um, second model at Woodside. And then we'll head on outside and check out what they did with the backyard. Again, the lot sizes are pretty adequate in that it allows for a large entertaining space. Um, you've got some turf area if you've got pets. Not too large, not too small, um, easy maintenance, but lots of space for uh, outdoor entertaining, covered patios. So the third model at uh, Antelope Park by Woodside is the Primrose plan. It's not the largest of uh, the plan lineup. There is one house that is a little larger, but this one starts out at 1973 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath. This has a couple structural options, which Tiffany will talk about. And uh, starting with the dining room options. So this space here immediately uh, when you walk in on the left, this is a formal dining room. So if you're looking for a more formal space, um, in addition to your informal great room, that's an option for you. You can also get that space modeled as a den. See how large and open uh, this great room space is. Um, a, a secondary eating space, more of an informal space right there, which you'll see big, large, open kitchen, good size island, and uh, this also has um, a pretty good size walk-in pantry, uh, butler's area, which you'll see, uh, call it a butler pantry, so you can have your coffee maker there on the right, plus all your uh, pantry food storage here on the left. There's that farm sink again, which we're seeing really popular trend right now. And then here's that uh, key drop area off the garage. 
also pretty popular. And the uh, powder room. Subway tile is such a uh, trend that never seems to go out of style. Um, you've got two bedrooms in this area, uh, separated by a hall bathroom. And then the primary is in the back of the home. It's always fun to walk through models, um, get lots of decorating ideas. Most builders put, um, you know, easily $100,000 in options into them just to show you what uh, the possibilities are. Laundry rooms located next to the two secondary bedrooms, and then we'll head over to the primary suite. So this bay window that you see, that is one of the structural options on this home. And um, you'll also see probably our favorite uh, bathroom in the entire model lineup. This, this bath was impressive. The shower was enormous and, um, you know, beautiful tile work. Lots of linen storage double sinks, walk-in closet. Walk-in showers are pretty much the trend now. We're not seeing very many tubs uh, anymore and um, a lot of times when they are in place they're more uh, decorative than anything. You'll see the freestanding tubs uh, like is uh, shown in the second model. Um, but yeah, these large walk-in showers are awesome. This third model had pro easily our favorite outdoor entertaining space. Um, this, this home is modeled with the patio cover extension, so you've got tons of covered space um, to get you out of the sun during the summer and still a good size um, backyard for some outdoor entertaining. They've got a little hammock spot right here. You'll see the, the bay window does take up a fair amount of the backyard but it really doesn't matter too much given that you've got this huge entertaining uh, back patio. So one thing worth mentioning with a lot of these new construction communities, which I personally think is great, you can take a standard subdivision home and pretty well customize it. So you'll see like on this model, this is model three, and they have the extended covered patio in the back. So if you like outdoor space, outdoor entertaining, you can add that on. You can add uh, in the master, it's a spa retreat. And again, you know, you can also upgrade your fit and finish. So you can upgrade your cabinets, countertops, flooring, etc. But it's nice that you can do some structural changes with the builders as well. That's it for Antelope Park. If you'd like to see a community featured on an upcoming video, drop us a comment or reach out to us and thanks for watching.